already sweating. <clears throat> What's up, everybody? Welcome to or welcome back to TBN. TBN. How do you know it's TBN? There it is, TBN. This is the all news, all advocacy, all facts, all science, all the time stream. And today, you guys, Raja Krishnamurthy. We're going to tweet at Raja Krishnamurthy a little bit. Uh, let me do some introductions. My name is Nick. I'm your host. I'm a bad libertarian. This is my co-host, far left fact checker, Danielle Jones, socialist oh, yeah. probably. Ter terrible socialist. I'm just kidding. I probably shouldn't. I should probably stop joking about you being a socialist. I think I decided I, that last time too. I mean, I, I feel probably like just not joke about that. If you watch, I'm clearly yeah, not a socialist. Yeah, if you watch, yeah, if you watch, you're clearly clearly not a socialist. The reason I say it in the first place is to even like poke fun at a little bit of the labels that people get where it's like, "Oh, you want to help someone? You fucking crazy socialist." It's like, yeah. "What? No, I don't want to. What are you talking about?" That's anyway. Welcome, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. We got some uh, hot news and advocacy and science to throw at you today. Um, today, we're kind of focusing down on Raja Krishnamurthy. Raja Krishnamurthy, he has been, I feel like, years, Danielle? Years? Yeah, He's it been feels that way. <laughs> like the, the, like, massive anti-vaping politician. Him yeah. and, like, Dick Durbin are the remaining mm -hmm. two. Mm -hmm. I have everybody else has kind of fallen off. You remember when Rashida Ta uh, Talib Talib Talib? Yeah, she was very, very like vocally yeah. anti vaping. And now she, it's just nothing. Yeah, I feel like some of them like they still support some of the crappy stuff, but they're not the one like leading the charge. Like right. Raja has definitely taken over as like master Publicly. and commander of <laughs> all things anti vaping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The like public face yeah. of anti vaping. It's uh, it's raja krishnamurthy so we're going to be tweeting at our favorite congressman raja krishnamurthy our favorite uh where is he illinois he's an illinois congressman oh, i should have probably googled that i can't keep track of i believe crazy. he is and uh i believe he's an <laughs> illinois congressman so we're going to be tweeting at him today you guys throughout the stream so if anybody in the chat has a twitter welcome this is going to be real real fun if anybody in the chat does not have a twitter Sign up for Twitter because this is going to be real, real fun. And if anybody watching on the replay, get on Twitter because this is going to be real, real fun. So let me just explain real quick how this is going to work today. I just want to tweet a bunch at Raja Krishnamurthy. I'm trying to think of, you know, you try to think of ways you can make a difference. And it's like I could get on YouTube and we can report the news or we could actually like do something today and tweet. Right. Like we got a bunch of people here. We got oh, what, 130 people here. We, if half of us tweeted at Raja Krishnamurthy a few times and his showed each other. His stuff would blow his, up. His stuff would blow up like it would blow up. If we could get over 100 tweets today, that would be amazing. Over 200 tweets today like that might be wishful thinking, but that could easily be done. Yeah. At the very least, the you know, the the his staff or whatever, like aid he has running his Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see this at the very least, maybe could make a note, write a note to Raja saying, hey, mm -hmm. like 200 people tweeted all of the science at you within, you know, 48 hours or something like that. That's my goal. That's my mission today, because Raja said there's no science. And we, we know. Come on. There Danielle is. Jo there is. There's there is science. There's, there's actually, lots of science. I want to say it again. Tremendous amount of science out there a tremendous amount of science out there i saw a couple super chats come in let me let me tackle those omicidal maniac nice to catch you live instead of the replay crew thanks for all you do uh thanks for all that you and danielle do for the community a a absolutely omicidal maniac it's absolutely my pleasure absolutely dave lloyd that's always very gracious of you dave lloyd legion vape sent me with money to pay for a catapult to drop rocks on raja's castle okay catapult catapult you're more of a catapult man i'm more of a trebuchet man myself but that's okay you know trebuchets they can they can throw rocks farther than a catapult can it's just science just mathematics and engineering they just work better i don't know the difference between them a trebuchet and a catapult yeah oh, don't should... they both fling shit right well yes yes a catapult... which one has the rope trebuchets okay okay yeah that's how you really throw them catapults usually like a 
like a, a real like a, like a cup, seesaw, right? Right. That you Picture throw? like a seesaw with a cup on one side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Heavy thing, launch it. Mm -hmm. But a trebuchet has the rope that goes over so that when you release it, it takes all this momentum of the swing with it oh. and really like throws it. They use it for like, you know, when they throw pumpkins, they have those pumpkin throwing contests. Oh, yeah. Pump yeah. Chunkin' pumpkins or Chunkin whatever it pumpkins. is. Chunkin' pumpkins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Trebuchets, baby. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So I am seeing a couple comments in the chat just because that says you're too quiet and I'm too loud. I'm too quiet. Danielle's too loud. Story of my life. I mean, you guys, I just. Is that I, better? I feel I like we're doing better questions. now. I mean, you sound a little louder to me. Chat, is it better now? Just give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. Just give me a thumbs up anyway. It's going to take like 20 seconds. Yeah, it is. It's going to take a full minute before we get. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That's what's going to happen. Uh, yeah. So there's a lot going on. And we're going to be tweeting. In fact, before we even get to any newsy bits, I kind of want to send out the very first tweet. And I have some tweets prepared because we're going to be tweeting some science at Raja Krishnamurthy. So I have this tweet kind of right here, mm -hmm. ready to go. This mm -hmm. is the uh, 2019 New England Journal of Medicine randomized control trial because he said there's no science. So I figured I'd start with the biggest one, the big randomized control trial that New England, mm -hmm. you know, published in New England Journal of Medicine. Very simple. We're going to be polite. We're just going to be respectful. And I'm yep. going to say, hey, Rajah for Congress. That's his Twitter. I heard you were looking for pro science. Pro tip, you don't want to start a tweet with somebody's at because then it doesn't show up right. properly. Oh, yeah. So the fact that, that Nick wrote a, a hey at the beginning. Hey. You you yeah, you, know, you can also use a period if you really need to start the tweet by tagging somebody, but either use a period or type a word so that the at yep. isn't the first thing in the tweet. Yep. Type a hey, Project. type a yo, type a hey there. I do it all the time. I heard you were looking for science in regards to vaping for quitting smoking. As an ex-smoker myself, I'm happy to help. And I want us all to use this hashtag science for Raja, number four Raja, because mm -hmm. this is how we can keep track of how many tweets actually happened. Yeah. Don't let me down. I want this to be kick ass. So this is the tweet I've constructed. If I'm tweeting at him this study, so I'm going to tweet this study at him. <gasps> there it oh, goes. Oh, look at that right there. Look at that Twitter right there. So if oh you go God. on Twitter, you see this tweet. You can like it. You can retweet it. Additionally, as as we're trying to like send out some of these tweets to Raja Krishnamurthy, you can also use these for your local politician or your congressman or your senator. Quote, retweet it and say, hey, my senator, have mm -hmm. you seen this science? You know, have you seen this vaping science in regards to smoking cessation? Or, hey, have you seen this? You know, this, this can be a very useful thing, I think. Yes. I think this is going to be a useful thing. So that's the first tweet out the gate. Let's check the hashtag science for Raja. Oh, we got a few. Oh, we got three tweets so far. <laughs> Three tweets, science for also, Raja. Also, don't name call. Don't name call right, right. in there. Be, be polite. Nobody's going to read that if you name call. Yeah, don't name call. Just be polite. You don't even have to say th I mean, you can say thank you. You can be polite. I feel like that's a pretty non-threatening uh, email where if I was maybe working in the office of Raja Krishnamurthy, working on, their twi on his Twitter account, and I saw this, mm -hmm. this doesn't come across as like, Hey, fuck you, you corrupt politician. This doesn't come right. as across as stop putting money over lives. This doesn't come across as like fuck you and your MSA blood money. This is like don't Hello, Raja for Congress. I heard you were looking for science in regards to vaping for quitting smoking. Check I shall out. be helpful. Yeah, I will be helpful. I will be helpful. So that's what we're doing today. And we're gonna do a deep dive into why this happens. In fact, we're gonna be reading a piece from Jacob Sullum, which kind of him and Raja were going back and forth. Jacob Sullum is the uh, senior editor at Reason Magazine. Senior editor at Reason, Ma Reason Magazine, something like that. I don't track people's titles. That sounds good. Sounds he, ha he has some, he's a big deal at Reason Magazine. Jacob Sullum is a big deal at Reason Magazine. How's that tweet doing? <laughs> yeah, senior editor at Reason Magazine. Yeah, That's senior editor, Reason oh. Magazine. So. He's got some sway and he's a smart guy. And honestly, the way that Reason has been reporting on all of vaping, I don't know what I would have done, honestly, without Reason Magazine and all the reporting that they've done on him. You know, Jacob Sullum, Guy Bentley, so many people have contributed to a lot. They've covered, you know, 
everything, legislation and Ivali and anyway, they've been on top of it. So that's where that all stems from. Before we really jump into Raja, there is a few newsy things in the such as. Yeah, newsy things and the such as. Hey, Danielle Jones, did you see this? the Truth Initiative depression stick? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry in advance, viewers. I am sorry in advance. This is gross. It's the only way uh, I, it's, I can come up It's with. pretty super gross. So uh, this is from the Wall Street Journal. The Truth Initiative has launched a fake vape company. Yes. A fake vape company, call, and they call this vape company Depression Sticks because... According to whatever weird ass mental gymnastics they have to do, they're equating nicotine use with more severe depression outcomes. Like they're taking right. this sort of mental health. Vaping is bad for your mental health. Men, you know, these disposables, they might as well just call them depression sticks because they're going to cause everybody, everybody to have depression. And it's uh, it's honestly gross. A. Two, yeah. really gross for people that have mental health issues and suffer from depression. Yes. Who may self-medicate with nicotine to Correct. elevate their mood and actually fucking help their depression. This is just gross on every level. And I didn't even want to give it that much time because I'm kind of hoping it just goes away. I really would. I uh, and it was so great because like a bunch of their tweets got reported like mm -hmm. right away mm -hmm. after they lo they launched it on like a Sunday night because I remember they aired the first commercial on during a football game or something. Um, it wasn't last Sunday. I think it might have been the Sunday before that or something. And they got a bunch of people reported them and were really pissed about the campaign. And so yeah. all their tweets got taken down in the first like 24 hours. But then they magically reappeared and I think reappeared with a verified blue check and also ads were showing like this is sponsored content now yeah so. so they were buying ads on twitter they they got the truth initiative somehow got a parody account verified which right. according to twitter shouldn't be possible but is possible i got served the depression stick ad on instagram mm -hmm. i didn't get served it on twitter i got served it on instagram which is against their like none of this is good and it's it's just upsetting it is really upsetting and, and i it, tweeted about it when it first happened it was basically like this like reinforces victim blaming right really because it's this idea really that, badly like, oh well if you just stopped using the vape then you would feel better yeah therefore it's within your control and it's like your fault if you're feeling this way and right no, that's definitely not even remotely how that works. Right. And they even <laughs> said in that article, like, oh, the study that we're referencing for this claim actually doesn't draw a causal link, but oh, well. But oh, but oh, well, anyway. I mean, so there's no proof that nicotine makes any mental health issues worse, but we're just going to go ahead and say it does. <laughs> we're just going to pretend. We're just pretending. We're just pretending. We're just going to pretend. Also, doesn't this seem a little desperate? I feel it's, like this is a desperation move. I, I it's so it's <laughs> like we were talking about this earlier. It's I look at them and I cringe. A because of all the messed up issues that they're basically implying with mental health issues. Yeah. But then also they're like look how hip and cool we are. Edgy. Like we're what's edgy. That, what's that meme? Like, hello, youths. Yeah. Like, what? Greetings, fellow youths. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no. That's what they are. Ugh. You can, and you can read the press release where the the head of the Truth Initiative, who's 66, by the way, not that mm -hmm. that, she's 66 years old. She's like, in true edgy truth fashion, we launched the Depression Sticks. And it just felt really sad, really hello, fellow, greetings, fellow youths. Yeah. Really, Vic, really, like you said, really blamey. Like, yeah. if you don't quit vaping, this is the reason why you're depressed, you stupid kid. So stop yeah. vaping and you won't be depressed anymore, you stupid kid. That's what it sounds like. It Truth does. is, it can't possibly be all of the pressures of everyday life, the world we live in, going to school, the pressures of social media and social hierarchy. And like, 
Jesus Christ, they're self-medicating with nicotine. Yeah. It's not causing their depression. No. But Truth Initiative likes to victim blame. So let's definitely exactly. blame the victims. Unreal. Exactly. That's one of those it's things that it just set me off. To, that's one of the things that set me off to the point of like, oh, like I don't care anymore. <laughs> it's like I was so mad and like on edge and I'm like waiting to hear about tax stuff and like we're waiting for National right. Tobacco Survey data and we're waiting right. for FDA stuff and then I see this pop up and I'm like oh just fuck the world that's yeah so I'm just like you know what computer <laughs> like, yeah exactly well that's just enough for the today. phone well yeah. that's it I'm done I'm done for today <laughs> that's enough for today uh. unreal so I cannot, I, they're just trying to, you know what they're really just trying to do? Honestly, look they're at just me, trying look at me, look at us, look at us. They're, they're trying to win awards for ad campaigns. Mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. really what they're trying to do. Right. Yeah. They're trying to like, they, they love that shit. They love, I, they have in the past, I believe won like awards for advertising, there's advertising campaign awards, just like yes. there are for like movies and you know, the Academy Awards and the Emmys and all that kind of stuff. I think they're just trying to get an, another award. And yeah, I mean, they may get it. You know what? Like the whole situation is it's gross, though. And I feel like if anybody really looks at this messaging, they should not win shit. And this whole thing should get shut down. Yeah, 100 percent. I agree. And more further to your point, Danielle Jones, this Wall Street Journal article that I can link down below in the description if you really want to read it isn't about vaping. It's about the ad campaign of the depression sticks who they went to to do it how they did it with all these brainstorming sessions and report and how they they crafted this ad campaign the article oh, is about the ad yeah. campaign it has nothing to do with vaping or no, they're trying to win awards that's yeah. it those sons of bitches the pretty, truth initiative unbelievable should we send another tweet to raja krishnamurthy real quick i mean i feel like it's Look, been five minutes I has it been probably five full it. minutes all right yeah let's do another one here so i have a few of these like pre tweeted out um i really wanted to tweet at him the yorkshire cancer research vaping demystified video not mm -hmm. that he will watch it not that his office aide will watch it maybe someone will watch it and clink on it or at least look at who it's coming from yorkshire so in this tweet, I tried to tag Yorkshire Cancer as well. And mm -hmm. if I'm posting a journal, I'll try to tag the journal uh, in the tweet as well. Of course, science for Raja, Raja for Congress. Please look at Yorkshire uh, Cancer saying that vaping could be our greatest opportunity to help reduce Yorkshire's leading cause of early death. Hashtag science for Raja, Yorkshire Cancer Research, vaping demystified, go. Go on your mission tweet. Out in the wild. Out in the wild. I like tweeting it. He said there's no science, so we have to provide him with oh, science. We have to show him. Because, you know, I Literally. if you're not looking, you're not going to find it. You know, yeah. like he's not looking. So clearly he thinks there's no science. But we will do the legwork for him and present it to him on a silver platter. Here, yes. sir. I know Found you couldn't it. be bothered, but Found I did it, it for you found it and i love the thing that rubs me so raw about this little raja quote which i promise we're going to get to we're going to read the whole thing he says there's simply no science like in this really arrogant like confidently incorrect oh. tone oh, yeah. of there's simply no science like yep. i uh, like putting it out there they're like i've looked into this there is simply no science he just has like such arrogance in his tone that just, oh my gosh, Raja. Ah, oh my gosh, Raja. Um, so another newsy bit and the such as, I kind of wanted mm -hmm. to mention this, Turning Point Brands suing the FDA, challenging yes. their PMTA denials. This right. is uh, Jim McDonald, Vapen360. I think this is a great, I think this is great. Just out of the gate, I want to say I love that Turning Point Brands is doing this. I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is an inevitable thing. 
Um, but essentially, like it says, Turning Point Brands is suing the FDA over their MDOs, their marketing denial orders. Turning Point Brands today petitioned a federal court to review the FDA's marketing denial order of its flavored e-liquids. This action represents what could be a wider legal response from the independent vaping industry, challenging the FDA's effective ban on vapor on products in flavors other than tobacco or menthol, which are flavors themselves. Yeah. yeah. Vaping doesn't taste like tobacco on its own. No. <laughs> People know this, right? I don't know that they know this. They I think know that, that they think that you open the e-liquid spout, because that's where e-liquid comes from, <laughs> and it just comes out flavored tobacco. like tobacco, yeah. and then you have to add other stuff. to. I think that's what these brainiacs think. It just cut. And to make a tobacco flavor, you have to use what? Probably RY4s, caramel, vanilla. Oh, sure. There's, there's all sorts of all flavors of in a tobacco yeah. flavor, but there's you got to make it taste you know. like tobacco. Uh. In uh, the petition asks the sixth U.S. Court of Appeals to review the marketing denial orders for the pre-market tobacco applications for various e-liquids made by TPB, uh, sold under the name Solace. So we, I think I recognize all of these names. Solace, I've definitely know of. Vaporfy. I know all their bottled e-liquids and all the Vapor Shark bottled e-liquids as well. TPB asked the court to review the FDA order on the grounds that it is arbitrary and capricious and an Love abuse of discretion. Arbitrary and capricious. Arbitrary yeah. and capricious. The company requests that the court vacate or modify the FDA order and ask that TPB be allowed to continue to market its project uh, subject to the challenge order. So they they want to stay on the market and continue supplying vape shops with e-liquid inventory. This yep. can only be a good thing. This can only I, be a good I thing. I really want to see what happens. I am extremely interested. And this is a thing, you know, he, I like that Jim McDonald said that this could be like what could be the beginning of a wider legal response. Mm -hmm. TPB is like one of the few in the independent vapor space that could probably afford lawsuits like this. Well, yeah, I think they're like, I've always thought of them as like baby tobacco. Yeah. Like, they're like a baby tobacco. Great. Cause they don't, they're they make like um, me medium tobacco. Yeah. Or something like li little tobacco, yeah, not big like, tobacco. Like yeah. Little. Not big tobacco. It's like little tobacco. And they, you know, TPB went and, purchased obviously all of these solace vapor five vapor shark all of these companies right and got exclusively into the like open vapor vape shop space and so more so than a big tobacco company filing a lawsuit an independent vapor company like this who has a vested interest in bottled e-liquid for open containers for you know vape shops i think this would be a uh i think this would be a really 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 good thing not only to keep products on the market and to keep vape shops, you know, open and supplied with e-liquids, but obviously for all of the customers, you know, the ex-smokers that use these products. I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm beating a dead horse into the ground when I mention that, but damn it, that's really the crux of all of this is there are millions and millions and millions of vapors in the U.S. that rely on these products. FDA doesn't seem to care. No. FDA doesn't seem to care. And that's kind of like, that's where we're at with the FDA right now. There's There's been no real movement. I haven't seen any MDOs recently, but I certainly not. haven't seen any approvals. Nope, definitely not. We're, so the FDA is kind of in this weird holding pattern, this nicotine tax, which, by the way, there's a call to action for. Yes, please do that. Which I don't know where I have the this one. There's a call to action. Yeah for the vape tax, which is still, again, just like this thing that's kind of like, you know, it might might pass, might not pass, language might yeah, get we're, moved, might we're not we're get moved. For There's discussions Congress going on around to, it. There's Congress yeah. is talking about it. So do the call to action. In the meantime, in the meantime, do the call to action. Yeah, because when they go in to have these meetings, if they've gotten a bunch of angry letters saying, do not do this, yeah. they might rethink it. So please do the call to action, please. Please. And then once you've done it, get your mom to do it and your dad to do it and your brother and your sister and your uncle and your cousin and your neighbor and your neighbor's neighbor and like all the other people that you know. You're like, if you love me, 
please do this call to action. <laughs> like, if you be a manipulative, me, okay? <laughs> if you love me, you'll I mean, do this call to action. Seriously, we just need a lot of people to do it. Like, this is any means necessary. Yes. Any means necessary. Get the call to actions done. Get as many people <laughs> to do it as possible. By any means crazy necessary. Crazy taxes. Like, a 60 it ml, I think insane. a 6 milligram, $20 just in tax. That, That's not even... The cost of the product is what, what are 60 ml? Yeah. like 15, 20 bucks right now. Like yeah, about. doubling the cost of the product in taxes. Yeah. Unbelievable. And it's not, nah. you know, here's my. And it's synthetic also, you guys. Yeah, it is synthetic. It's synth it's all nicotine. It's all nicotine. They don't care. It's all nicotine. All nicotine. I think this is going to directly affect the vape market in that I think cloud chasing is going to slowly like, especially in the United States, it's just going to slowly start being less and less and less. Because even I'm even just, look, I have a lot of liquid and I have access to lots of mm -hmm. liquid. I have access to enough liquid that I can help keep other people with liquid, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm not worried about my consumption necessarily, but I've been trying to keep track, be more aware of my consumption and man, when you're dripping on an RDA, you just crank through juice. And I'm looking at I mean, this 120 yeah. mil bottle going, all right, well, this would carry a tax of hundred and something dollars on it with on top of the $40 that I paid for it. Can I really afford to blow through this bottle in a month? Is it fiscally, does that make sense? <laughs> Yeah, I go through too. like 15 mils of liquid per day. I think I calculated. Per day? Oh, you do yeah. exclusively lung? You don't do any mouth yes. to lung or anything no. like that? Okay. Nope. Exclusively Not lung. Done. Casey's the same way. Exclusively lung. She en ends up going through oh, quite a bit of liquid. I think probably more than 15 mils a day. Anyway, uh, I'm, I mean, let me do a couple of these super chats that came in. Uh, Sexy King Phil, yo yo, that juice you sent me is amazing. A hint of frosting goes well with the strawberry donuts. Gonna have to try some more from Developed DIY. Oh, okay, sick. Okay, sick. I'm glad that. Uh... Oh, my mouse is gone. It's gone. Yeah. Whoa, you that's cool. Should put some cheese out to lure it out. I'm just kidding. Oh. That was that was a dad joke. I'm really sorry. That guys. was that it was like the king dad head. joke. That was a good and one. I just <laughs> Put some cheese. Oh, here's my mouse. It was just frozen. Uh, oh. Part time vapor says the TPB lawsuit needs to become a class action lawsuit for all the MDOs. It, that would be great, but also keep in mind that. Turning Point Brands does not care about anybody else but Turning Point Brands. So they're well, doing I this mean, lawsuit kind of for Turning Point Brands products. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that they're going to go, oh, okay, yeah, jump on this. We're, we're going to front the money, but okay, jump on this. Well, yeah, I think, be nice, I mean, right? it would, it's, I don't know what Turning Point Brands is thinking. It's possible if they thought they'd have a better chance of winning to bring other people on board. I mean, all of the companies at the end of the day are trying to get their products through. I yes. know there's some more so than others that really want to help their fellow, you mm. know, friend manufacturer out. Um, I, I wouldn't, you know, try to assume with how turning point feels about that, but yes, their priority is their products because that's what keeps their employees paid and, yep. you know, get, keeps them having jobs. Keeps so you profits know. rolling in. It's their but products. I don't know. Maybe I don't know how these things work. I don't know if you could just convert this into a class action or not. I don't know if you can even have other manufacturers. We are join we, in. we are not lawyers. I'm not we a don't, lawyer. I'm not trained know. in any way in law. I got no idea, but I do hope that there are either more people or more lawsuits or something because I think that would be super. There definitely will be. I feel like it's inevitable. Even this. I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner. Like, I'm surprised after the first round of MDOs, there wasn't a lawsuit. I guess it didn't affect Turning Point Brands until later on. Yeah, I mean, because you do have to have, like, a lot of money to do a lawsuit. That's yeah. the that's yeah. the, the hard part, basically. Yeah. Well. Is it expensive? Look, <laughs> I've, I've said this before in the past, and I'll say it again. 
There's some tobacco companies that are just going to help us whether we want their help or not. And Turning Point Brands doing this lawsuit to keep their vape products on the market helps the overall vape whatever, community scene, whatever you want to call it. And they're potentially, yeah. they're, and potentially help us. And they're, for all intents and purposes, a tobacco company. I feel the same way when inevitably I still believe that Juul's going to get a PMTA. And I think that's going to change the whole conversation too. And that's going to help vaping whether we wanted it to or not. I think it's going to change the whole conversation. So, uh, oh, there's another newsy thing I wanted to do. There's another newsy thing I wanted to do. Did you know about the Juul 2? I did see that article, yeah. It's the Juul 2. And this is uh, exclusively being launched only in the United Kingdom, from what I understand. Because oh, yeah, because they can't do it right, in the yeah, U.S. Because of the United States regulatory, uh, you know, climate atmosphere at the time right now. But this is the Jewel 2, and they are using this to combat underage usage. I think this is <laughs> mostly I really just want to try one. Yeah, I'm a little it's like something with Bluetooth and like age verification. I don't totally understand the tech but yeah it's got they don't they don't they're really vague about the tech and that's really what i'm interested in is the tech but the idea is there's jewel 2 official pods and then only those official jewel pods will work with the official jewel battery so okay the so idea that's to help with like counterfeit counterfeiting like Right, yeah. counterfeiting. Off market, or what, they're talking about right. They have such a, a hold on their supply chain that they can control the the authentic pods into their distribution channels and networks and such as to right. keep counterfeits out. And even if counterfeits could get in, it wouldn't work. Right, wouldn't work. It's like with your the battery. printer that will only accept. Epson brand ink, yeah. not third party ink or whatever it is. I know. And that's stupid, right? I think, I mean, for the most part, for the most part, I think that's, that's dumb, but I guess I, it makes sense in this capacity if they're trying to really prove to the UK government, right? we are doing everything we can, our second generation device, you know, in combination with our rigorous supply chain and our, you right. know, anti-counterfeiting technology and our age verification and our own, like Jewel ha is like, we have our own secret shoppers that go into all of these places. And this is for youth prevention, youth prevention, youth prevention. The thing that I find funniest about this is Jewel is launching a safer product in another country because they can't launch a safer product in the United States. Yeah. Because <laughs> the way the government works is there's no innovation. You have no, to go through a whole new PMTA. Yeah, you can't make your products any safer unless you know about unless you let us know about it first and we approve that they're actually safer. Yeah. That's unbelievable to me. That's unbelievable to me. That's unbelievable to me. And honestly. Listen, I just want to try this. And this isn't a call to like, whatever, be illegal in any way. But if anybody in the UK, we should talk. I want to get slide into too. next yeah, DMs. Just slide in most DMs, slide right in my DMs. I need to get my hands on a Jewel 2. I can't not vape a Jewel 2. I have to. I never did a video for the Jewel, never put it on YouTube, ever. But I want to try the jewel too. Uh, let me do the super chat from Fishy. Uh, it's very gracious of you, bro. Keep up with all you both do. Um, thank you so much for your fight and education. Continue to show us in the vape community. Look, Fishy, I, I love the vape community. Uh, I want us to be all as informed and active as we possibly can, Fishy. So thank you very much for being here. And that's to me sounds like it's time to send out another tweet to Raja Krishnamurthy. Twitter time. It's Twitter time. See, I should have had like a, a fun musical bumper. Twitter, Twitter time. time. Had birds like fly across the screen, you know. <laughs> Twitter time. Twitter time. You should sing it and do that weird audio effect with it. <laughs> <laughs> the multi mics. I can't do the audio effect anymore. Oh, it's gone. Okay. It's gone. Uh, you guys shout missed out it. It was pretty great. It was like Nick times five in surround sound yeah like, it was like harmonizing <laughs> with itself it was pretty it was pretty great, it was pretty great. i need to figure out how to do that and then record it later so i can hear it because i couldn't hear what you were hearing oh it's, it's freaking excellent me out. 
Excellent. Shout out to uh, the manatees for retweeting my tweet. Ooh, All right. we're all getting to see Nick's Twitter. I know. You want to see my, my Twitter? What's uh, okay. your DM? So this is an... <laughs> You can see what's in my DMs. This is uh, another tweet I had constructed pre-stream. Mm -hmm. uh, just for Rajah for Congress again. This time I'm just using the period. Because I can't think of like, I don't, I don't you know, you can only use like, hey. So many like, times. Like so many times. Yeah. So I do the period. Raja for Congress. Please see Public Health England's latest evidence update for e-cigs and vaping. Hashtag science for Raja. Vaping only poses a small fraction of the risk of smoking and switching completely from smoking to vaping conveys substantial health benefits. And then you link to the Public Health England independent mm -hmm. expert, expert updated evidence for e-cigs and vaping. Enjoy the science, Raja Krishnamurthy. Get out there and get it. Do it. Hunky vape. Fuck yeah, hunky vape. I'm retweeting that. Oh, no, that's you retweeting me. I can't retweet you. <laughs> Just, just no, don't like it, because then you'll just like your own tweet. I know, but I can cut. I can public health miracle. That's oh, spelled you misspelled wrong. miracle. Fix it. Okay. I know you can't send out a tweet with a misspelling on. Oh, it. Oh no, because no. then you just sit there and stare at it like. Yeah. Jesus. Look at this. More science. Look at Mallory Gates. Fuck yeah, yep. Mallory Gates. I'll retweet that. More science for Raja for Congress. Science for Raja. Mm -hmm. I love this. I love where this is going. I love where this is going already. Got some science, hot science for Raja happening. Look, he said there's simply no science. So we just wanted to show him that there simply is a whole mess of science, actually. Oh, yeah. There's so much. Mountains of it. Um, let me wrap up these newsy bits because I'm not going to let another live stream pass by without mentioning the glorious Amanda Wheeler and her, her speech mm -hmm. at the GTNF. I, I, I was yeah. speechless. Like I had yeah. no words. I, it was yeah. literally, I was moved with emotion and mm -hmm. she just nailed this, yeah. nailed this. I'll have a link down the description. Maybe this isn't just trying to find like a, there you go. She looks a bit happier there. Maybe not. <laughs> The GTNF happened. Um, that was, what's this stand for, Danielle Jones? The Global Tobacco Nicotine, Nicotine Forum? Forum? I I'm a bad advocate. I don't remember all acronyms. No, I don't. I just called it the I GTNF. think it's Global Tobacco Nicotine Forum. The Global Tobacco Nicotine Forum. And I Amanda, think. This happened uh, recently within the past two weeks or so. And Amanda Wheeler uh, from J Vapes was there and she spoke. Now, I've known Amanda for a while. She's just a spectacular advocate. I got to hear her talk at, I got to hear her speak at the first rally. I got to hear her speak at the second rally. Anytime our paths cross is just a delight because she's so smart and knowledgeable. If there was someone I could choose to be like the face of vaping for the public, like get Amanda Wheeler on MSNBC, get mm -hmm. Amanda Wheeler on Fox News, get Amanda Wheeler on CNN. Uh, she could be the public face of vaping. Her, her little speech at the GTNF was unbelievable. She talked about things that are happening in the United States. She talks about Bloomberg. She talks about small businesses. She talks about harm reduction. She covers all of it. Everything mm -hmm. you think she covers, she covers. There's a really great Q&A at the end as well. But if you are here watching this video, if you vape, I would really, really encourage you to watch this video. Watch it. It's like, I don't know how long it is. The whole thing's like 30 minutes, but her speech is like maybe eight or nine minutes, maybe a 10 minute little, little deal, but it's so good. It's good. I got, it's I got a little so choked good. up near the end. I won't lie. I did. I got choked up, uh, towards the end. The end made me want to like pump my fists in the air. Yeah. You know, it just, it, it, it gave me a little, I was bit in my fuel. living room watching it on my phone. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was in here just, I mean, I've watched it a few times, but I was refreshing myself watching it again today and here and every time at the very end, I'm like, let's go. Like, yeah, ah, let's go. I want to like run out of the room and go like light a dumpster on fire or something. <laughs> like, what do I, ah, vaping. Yeah. My favorite, my favorite part. Uh, I don't want to ruin anything and I don't, I certainly don't want to ruin the ending because the ending is the best part. But I, I really like where she was talking about the U.S. independent vapor companies 
when she's talking about, look, we tried to follow the rules. We were following the rules every step in the way. Unfortunately, we were following the rules in a system designed for us to fail. And I was just like, whoa, that hit me hard. Just, mm -hmm. And we knew that from like the very first deeming regs when they first came out. We're like, this, this isn't to be successful for independent vapor companies. No. This is a system designed for us to fail. Mm -hmm. It's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking, but her, her like positive words at the end were really, really energizing. And uh, it is rousing. It oh, is. Yes. It is rousing. That, that's how good way to put it. Rousing. It is rousing, isn't it? I was mm -hmm. roused. I was Me roused too. into action and I wanted to pump my fists in the air. And uh, so just thank Amanda Wheeler, get on Twitter. Thank Amanda Wheeler. In fact, share this video i'll have a link for it down in the description just share this video literally everywhere you can because it's it's awesome i did you get to I tweet watch? it to raja if you want like i mean maybe yeah tweet it, yeah it. tweet it to raja oh tweet it to raja Definitely see what i did there i took to this raja. one thing and i combined it with the other thing that we were doing and then I and then you thing. said tweet it at raja science for raja this is great Science for Raja. Yes, Mallory Gates. Mallory Gates coming out strong. She's Mallory on it. Gates. I feel like she was the first. She was like, Ooh. I'm here for this. Let's Mallory Gates winning the TBN Twitter, Tuesday TBN Twitter award, which is a real yeah. thing that I just invented. That we just made up right now. <laughs> but it's it's a thing. It's a thing thing. Um, before we do any more tweets, uh, I think it's time to do the main thing. Let's get yeah. into the main thing. Raja Krishnamurthy said there's simply no evidence that vaping helps smokers quit. Nope. Simply, no simply. Evidence. simply no evidence. So this story kind of starts with this article from Jacob Sullum. Jacob Sullum did this article called uh, Bureaucrats and Politicians Seem Determined to Cripple Life-Saving Alternative to Smoking. It wasn't just in Reason Magazine. It was also in the Chicago Sun-Times, which makes a lot of sense as to why Raja did his response, his letter right. to the editor in the Chicago Sun-Times. That's the part that made no sense to me till I yeah, realized- Yeah, it's a syndicated column. Ah, yeah, syndicated column. So Jacob Sullum, senior editor, Reason Magazine, very, very smart guy, tremendous writer. He wrote this great article, but bureaucrats and politicians seem determined to cripple a life-saving alternative to smoking. And he's very critical in it. You know, he's very critical of the FDA in it. He, he really like lays into the vagueness that the FDA, you know, the language that they use by saying, oh, well, people are, you know, they can provide robust, reliable evidence. And it's like, well, nobody really knows what, what that means. And we didn't know about product specific, robust evidence pre PMTA. So he talks about their changing of the goalposts and he talks about, uh, you know, FDA and media misrepresenting data and survey data and talking about the overblown youth vaping epidemic and the, you know, the non-existent gateway epidemic. And he points out like, I apologize, I'm just giving you the, the cliff notes here, but he, you know, he talks about the the interesting balance that happens between the FDA admitting that ends are good while having political pressure put on them by non-scientists trying to ban ends. And so now the FDA is in this like, how do they how do they appease politicians who are telling them to ban all flavors and e-cigarettes? And how do they actually follow the science and continue to, you know, have that belief that they've always had that ends can potentially help thousands, if not millions of adult smokers in the United States. So Correct. this is a really, really great article and I would encourage you to read it. In response to this really, really great article that Jacob Sullum wrote, wrote uh, Raja Krishnamurthy wrote a letter to the editor of the Chicago Sun-Times. I'm actually pretty surprised that he got ruffled enough to respond publicly. Me too. Me like, too. Oh, and, did Jacob hit a nerve? Like, mm. and here's the thing: this, this Jacob Sullum's original article, I've read it a few times now. It doesn't mention Raja Krishnamurthy by name. Hmm. It does not in any capacity. All Jacob Sullum does is talk in really like 
broad brushes like politicians in general. Oh, you're right. I just did a quick word search to yeah. fact check you. And Raja, yeah, he doesn't... his name is not mentioned. Oh, that's even worse. Wow. Like, right? Feeling guilty, bro? Like, right? what? You know? That means all he did was read this and thought that it was directed at him. And that and was enough out. for him to freak out and write a letter to the editor about an article where he's not even mentioned. Interesting. That's some that's some weird political move, Raja. Sounds like your conscience eating at you mm -hmm. to me. I mean, that really, really does. But in his letter to the editor, it doesn't seem like he's had any change of heart because he says, don't kid yourself. E-cigarettes pose a huge threat to millions of Americans. Did you know? I didn't know this. Let's see what Raja has to say about it. Uh, as the author of federal legislation to regulate and tax e-cigarette vapes for the first time, I take strong exception to Jacob Sullum's recent column where I wasn't mentioned. <laughs> I take strong exception to Jacob Sullum's recent column, which carried the headline, Bureaucrats and politicians seem determined to cripple life-saving smoking alternative. Vapes are a huge health threat to millions of America's young people, with 20% of high schoolers currently using this highly addictive product. The purpose of the current Food and Drug Administration review of e-cigarettes, which Sullum criticizes, is to decide whether they have a net positive public health benefit. The unregulated, untaxed marketplace now requires no such proof. Rather than trying to keep vapes away from adults, my legislation aims to curb excessive levels of nicotine, addictive nicotine, get rid of vape flavors that are meant to attract kids, and close the loophole that allows e-cigarettes to evade taxes on other tobacco products. So adults are, I'm not trying to keep these from adults. I'm just doing everything I can to keep these to from keep adults. Keep away from adults. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, ooh, the mental gymnastics there. 10 out of 10. Like that was a, a backflip with a double I'm roundhouse dying. jump kick. And he stuck the landing, okay? Nailed like, it. Like an Olympic athlete. Gymnastics. Like an Olympic athlete nailed that For landing. Sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah. There's a reason the big tobacco companies are buying up uh, some of the largest vape manufacturers. It isn't to save lives. He knows their intentions. It's to boost their own profits. He seems really mad that people are making money. God forbid somebody make something God that helps forbid the world somebody and makes, make money off I know. Of it. Like, you can do both. You can like, save you lives understand. and make money. Also, that's how you get innovation and change the world when people can also profit off of it. Yes. That explodes the space. Like, yes. do you not understand how capitalism works? Yeah. Like, one, uh, 100% boost their profits. You can do both. You can save lives can. and make money. Have you heard of doctors? Doctors don't work for free. No, they don't. Doctors get paid money. Do we yell yep. at doctors for, you're not here to really help people. You're just here to get paid. That's a weird precedent to take. That is very It's so bizarre. bizarre. All they care about is boosting their own profits. Nobody can make any money. Okay. And then he fins finishes it uh, by saying, adults can do what they want, even though there's simply no evidence that vapes help them quit smoking. But our kids are not for sale. Their lives deserve our protection. Simply no evidence. Was Russia. someone trying to buy the children? I don't understand. Like, yeah. Our kids are not for sale. Who's They're trying to buy them? I'm not. I don't know that anybody's trying to buy kids. I don't think anyone's trying to buy kids. Our kids are not for sale. But our kids are not for sale. Who is? Was anybody shopping? I don't, I don't understand what's happening right that's now. That's a really weird state. That's a really weird thing to say. Yeah. But our kids are not for sale. Adults can do what they want, even though there's simply no evidence that vapes help them quit smoking, but our kids are not for sale. Who is trying to buy the kids? Who is that's trying to buy I the kids? And what does that have to do with evidence that vapes help quit smoking? Also, that if someone's sense. trying to buy kids, they should probably go to jail. I Definitely. Mean, I don't know why Without you're writing question, an article. They should probably you should go to jail. Be calling the police. Yeah. Like, stop writing. Get off your computer. Yeah. Call the cops if somebody's. Stop talking about Sorry, vape I'm just evidence. Annoyed. Annoyed with this. I know. 
I'm annoyed with them too. I'm annoyed. Look, I'm annoyed with them too. So that's the letter. That's what he wrote. There's simply no evidence. So we had some evidence that we wanted to share with Raja Krishnamurthy. So I'm going to be linking a lot of things in the description. And I want to keep this Twitterness going. We're going to, we're going to send a few more tweets. And we're going to read a little bit more from Jacob Sullum because he responded to Raja Krishnamurthy in oh, the, yeah, the, the most yes. beautifully satisfying, delicious way, Jacob Sullum way possible. Yeah. One of the things that's going to be down in the description is uh, it's my favorite Google Doc that is what every health organization says about vaping and a hyperlink to where they said it. The big, the, the, you know, some big ones on here, World Health Organization. What do they have to say? Oh, the use of e-cigarettes is expected to have a lower risk of disease and death than tobacco smoking. That's crazy. E-cigarettes have the potential to reduce the enormous, enormous burden of disease and death caused by tobacco smoking if most smokers switch to e-cigarettes. World Health Organization said that. That's crazy. But don't misconstrue this document for all of these organizations supporting vaping. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. the World Health Organization does not support vaping. They do not. They Somewhere, somebody from there said that. But again, like, that's not... That doesn't you know, mean I just, World Health Organization supports right. vaping. I like this list, but I don't want people to get confused thinking that that means, you know, because there's antis in this list. Oh, too. yeah. There is actually that, lots of That antis. doesn't mean that all these orgs support vaping, just to clarify that. It's what they have to say about vaping. But, but what they have then, said in the past. Yeah. And yeah, and even then you can use this. I mean, I feel like this is a really useful tool. It's got FDA, CDC on here, but really it's got Cochrane... It's yeah. got a lot of good, really good stuff on here. Public Health England, it, it's a lot of good stuff on here. So that's going to be linked. Um, that's going to be linked down below as well. Let's send out another tweet to Raja before we talk about Jacob Sullum's newest clap back. I like that term. Clap back at uh, Raja Krishnamurthy. Hang on, I need to mm -hmm. hydrate real quick. It's like 100 degrees in this office right now. It's crazy. Oh, no. I have my tiny fan going. Yeah. I need a tiny fan. You do. I'm hot. It's hot. These lights are hot. My room is just hot. I need to hydrate real quick. How's everybody oh, doing out there? You doing good? I agree with Sexy King Phil. He says, damn, Graham, you got a lot of tabs. <laughs> okay. That's a typical yeah. like TBN tab day. It doesn't generally look that bad, but it's a it's a TBN tab day. I have tons, it's too many tabs. You and Julia Cassaw, you have like hundreds of tabs open. And I'm like, you guys, bookmarks. Bookmarks. Okay. I know. Bookmarks and are going to like, save your life. A lot of these tabs that I have open are in the TBN Google Doc. Yeah. So they're there anyway. So I could so just I click on the them like, Doc for us. as we go. I don't know. I like to have them all open. I, she, she, I tried, try. she really tried. It does keep us I much do. more organized, though. It keeps us much more organized. Much more organized. Yeah, he's a tab king, you guys. And Julie Wassner, by the way, is a tab queen, just tab in queen. case anybody. Actually, this is the least tabs that I've had open because this is only one instance of Chrome running right now. <laughs> and it's because I had to restart my computer and take it to the Apple store and get it like, you know, I had to make an appointment or whatever. So I had to close Ooh. my computer down. And when I reopened Chrome, it was only one window and this was it. Oh. It, I had like four other instances of Chrome running. Anyway. Your poor anyway, computer. It really, the fan kicks on hard. Yeah! Frequently. Frequently. <laughs> frequently. Um, Donovan in with the super chat. You are both awesome. Donovan, you oh, are thanks. awesome. Thank you for being here. If you tweeted today, you're even awesomer. Mm -hmm. Sexy King Phil says, I signed the petition. Do your part, fellow vapors. That's right, Sexy King Phil. And I appreciate you doing your part and signing the petition. If anybody wants to get on Twitter today, we're sending out tweets to Raja Krishnamurthy because he needs some help with there's, science. There's simply no evidence. There is simply no evidence. So I'm going to send out another tweet here that I pre-crafted pre before the stream. You're so organized. Good afternoon, Raja for Congress. I just wanted to share some science with you about the harm reduction benefits of vaping cardiovascular effects of switching from tobacco cigarettes to electronic cigarettes. And then I tagged the journal mm -hmm. hashtag science for Raja. Mm -hmm. Then the piece, mm -hmm. a lot of the science I'm getting today, here, I'm going to send you out into the internet. Go. 
Go be tweeted. A lot of, I want to give a shout out to, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this person's name. Juka? That's how I say it in my mind. That's how that's I say I it. In, I know. That's how I say it in my mind too is Juka. Juka? J-U-K-K-A. Juka, spectacular advocate. Spectacular advocate. Know very little about Juka other than spectacular advocate. So I tweeted this the other day, said, please share any of your favorite vaping for smoking cessation studies below. So if you need a place to get studies, a lot of these are in the description underneath this video, but they're all also underneath this tweet. So you could literally pick- She posted a bunch. She posted a bunch, at least 20 that I can see right out of the gate. Wait, do I even on have this one, gender correct? I don't know. Juka a girl in my mind. Okay. They posted. I don't want to yeah. be disrespectful. I've I actually, always. I don't know Juka personally. I in just. My, in my head, I've pictured Juka as a girl, but then ultimately I don't know. So I just call them Juka. They posted a lot of links. They posted a bunch of links. Do you know where else there's links. more links? Hmm. Do you mean on the Casa website? Bum, bum, yes. bah. Let me show you guys how to do this because it's super fucking easy. Get rid of Raja for now. <laughs> so you go to the Kasa website. We're going to go over here to resources right here. Whoop. You don't have to click it, but you can. Information library. Boom. Research, data, articles. Jump to a topic. Literally everything you want. Evali, youth use, taxes, social justice, regulatory effects, harm reduction, smoking cessation, more studies right here. You can, uh, oh, see, I already tweeted that one. Expert reaction, nicotine patches in combination with e-cigarettes, pattern of e-cigarettes. Sure, this one. September 17th, 2019. Boom. Oh, over two years. So here, how would I tweet this link at Raja Krishnamurthy? Well, I have to go to Twitter. <laughs> and I have to compose a tweet. And I have to say... Hello. <laughs> I don't know why I, you know, that's the only one you can choose. Oh, do howdy. Try oh, howdy. howdy? This do you time. think a howdy could throw in there? I think I think what about whoever's a saw, reading this do? will appreciate some variants. You guys start each tweet with a different way of saying hello. I think it'll be howdy glorious. Roger, for... <laughs> Next one be like hola. Next one be like hola. mahalo. Like hola. Or, no wait. Uh not oh, mahalo. Wait. That's thank you or something. Wait, I, um, I lost the study. Oh, here's the study. There you go. There Here's the too study. many tabs. Here's the study. Uh, let's see. Aloha is what I was thinking. Somebody start one with Aloha, Raja Chris <laughs> Uh, I'll, Yeah, I'll do an Aloha. So here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the conclusion of this study. See mm -hmm. this? Smoking cessation was more likely among frequent e-cigarette users, users of e-cigarettes and last quit attempt, and users of flavored and rechargeable devices. Sure. I feel like that's a... A, a yeah. fine speaking point. Copy. Copy. Paste. Uh, I was wondering... Uh, now you get to see how bad I type. Wondering if you had seen this hashtag science. Where did it go? Where did it go? It was this one. Uh, I don't You're seeing how the sausage is made, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really boring. It's really boring. This is how we tweet. Uh, a two-year study of e-cigs for smoking cessation. A little quote. Oh, we're not going to be able to do this. See, I always put the I quote in out. first. And I run then... Out. Add a little bit. Put the quote and the link in first, oh, that's and then good. see how that's much space smart. you have left for your, you know, because uh, now we opining. don't have, we don't have, yeah, the opining. Yeah. You know, your commentary, <laughs> if you will. Like, put your required elements in first. The opining. And see what you've got left to work with. Okay, here's what we have to work with. Not much. Period. Raja. For Raja for Congress. Uh, Check this out. I have some more hashtag science.
for Raja. Beautiful. That's perfect. That's a perfect tweet. Yeah. Right? I feel like that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I have some more science for Raja. Smoking cessation was more likely among frequent e-cigarette users, users of e-cigarettes and last quit attempt, and users of flavored and rechargeable devices. That's science. Clear as day. Science for Raja. Raja for Congress. Go forth. Whoosh. Go off forth. Into the ether. And see, that was easy. We just found that right off of CASA. Mm -hmm. And th mm -hmm. there's loads of this all over the place. Flavors. Loads. Youth usage. Oh, yeah. I've organized them by topic. There's also like our big favorite ones at the top in this highlighted. I think I called it highlighted resources. Oh, yeah. You've got, you know, you've got mm, the, um, mm, that's mm -hmm, the 15 mm -hmm. president, former presidents of SRNT letter. Yep. Then you've got the um, Royal College of Physicians. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the Cochrane Review. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the, the what New, is England that? New England Journal of Medicine. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So those are our like our heavy hitters that we really like to share. I've yeah. also got some videos in there. If you notice, there's a little video are section. They really? Yeah. Scroll oh, down. Educational, educational videos. videos. Yeah, I made a little playlist here. for you guys. There's lots of good goodies in there. Oh, and you got vaping demystified in here too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. All advocacy. kinds of all kinds of stuff for you guys. So if anybody's like, blah blah. Blah, blah. There's no evidence. You just jump to the topic and you copy paste you a go, bunch oh, of science. What? COVID-19? This is the one I'm really waiting to get Raja Krishnamurthy with. I've, I've got this with, I've tweeted this at him a few times, but he was one of the biggest, like, you know, clear the market of e-cigs because of COVID-19. And, uh, you know, people that vape, they're going to get COVID-19 more. So we mm -hmm. need to clear the market of e-cigarettes. And then the Mayo Clinic did that study that was like, you know, 70,000 of their patients and found not even a, a like a causal link between right, right, e cigarettes right. and COVID 19. Mm -hmm. That's the one that I really, you know, that's the one I really want to tweet at him. Let's get all up in his craw. So uh, I'm going to check on uh, a few of the super chats that I saw come in before we dig into this last little Jacob Sullum thing. I'm not sure I'm going to read the whole thing now just because we ran out of time. Uh, New Wave Dave says, Raja is a yak ass. <laughs> yes. Yak Don't ass. Don't tweet that, though. Don't, Don't tweet, tweet that. that at him. See, that's the thing. Here, we can do that. We can say that all we want. You know, in our in our private groups, like on Discord, we can just rag on Raja Krishnamurthy all we want. But on Twitter, in the public, at his face, that's when you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to call him a yak ass. Even though I love that so much, I want to put it on a goddamn T-shirt. Raja is a yak ass. All right. Glenn Ness. Hola, mi amigo. Vapador favorita. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias, senor. I'm, I do not speak Spanish. Hola, mi amigo. Favor, favorita. 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 There you go. I Vapador like, favorita. I feel like Vapador. I've never heard that word. I feel Is that a is that a made up word or is that a Vapador? Word? I don't I think know. That, is it Unless a made-up word? Let's Google it. B A P E. This is why she's the far left fact checker. That's why she's here. Jason, you sent that Raja link to vaping demystified. Sick. All right, I'm gonna check in on the hashtag. Science for Raja. We're gonna go through. Uh, we're gonna go through and do some like. Oh, maybe it is a real word. It comes up in Google. Does okay, it? Okay, really? my bad. It's a real word, or it's like a something in Spanish having to do with vaping. I would imagine. Vapador. I would have thought it would have been something different, but I mean, I am not a native Spanish speaker, so I probably shouldn't be like, that's not a word. Because clearly it is. It's in Google. Clearly it is. See, that was you. The internet <laughs> said it's true, you guys. The internet said it's true. Oh, yeah. See, look at this one. Even this one. I'm retweeting Hunky Vape. Do it. And I like to comment on things, even if I don't have much to say, just because it helps out like Twitter algorithms and it helps the tweet get farther if there's more interaction with it. So sure. I yeah. like to like yeah. it. And I like to like re leave a comment, you know. Right on, brother. Even if, it, yeah, almost. <laughs> that was my version of Nick leaving a comment. <laughs> I don't know, I just made it up. Right on, brother. <laughs> 
if, <laughs> if you're me, you just tweet a GIF. Like that's what I do when I'm like, this is excellent. Oh, that is a good way to go. I tweet a GIF. The, tweet, I'm, the GIF I'm is a good way to the, go. Just single GIF. I like the laughing ones the best. Whoa, face meet tweeting. Face meet tweeted. Do oh it. my god, face meet. Bro. Bro, face meet. Ah. <sighs> Thank you. I'm just thank can you, you face me. Can you see how many people have used your hashtag? Does Twitter let you do that? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, latest people. I don't even. It could be like it's too new of a hashtag mm. that there's not going to be any like. There's not going to be a lot on it yet. Maybe over like the next 48 hours, like, cause I want to keep this going. I'm going to keep tweeting at Raja Krishnamurthy for like all through Wednesday as well. So that anybody who catches this replay and wants to get on Twitter, I'll still be there on Twitter. We'll still be tweeting at Raja Krishnamurthy. Uh, I love it. Keep this going. Shout out to Mallory Gates. Shout out to Hunky Vape. Shout out to Face Meat. Fuck yeah, Face Meat. So. Now, now that we're here with Raja Krishnamurthy trying to get him science because he insists that there is simply no science. There's just no science. I've looked nowhere and found nothing. So <laughs> it's like I lost my keys. They simply don't exist anymore. I haven't looked for them, but they're gone. They're not. Were they ever here? Really? trying to swallow i'm sorry <laughs> i really wanted I like a, an keys. awesome they moment where you just must the water everywhere and then we could yeah. record it and yeah. use it for a thumbnail spit take all over the computer yeah, oh, God. yeah. you're like my keys aren't i've lost they're simply <laughs> <laughs> simply no evidence simply they were ever in existence there is oh a car my in my driveway Lord. But there's no yeah, evidence. There's simply no evidence it's mine. <laughs> oh, my God. Whew, that was funny. That killed me. Sorry. Jacob, Jacob Sullum. Let's get uh, Raja back up here on the screen. Uh, please shrink Raja down a little bit. Nick, big. I think there's something between us. Is it an anti-vaping politician? Something's come between us. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. Something's I'm come on between one today. us. <laughs> you got some serious, like, dad oh, joke no. action. Oh, I feel like I need to get you to the comedy store. Work on your tight five. <laughs> There's something between us. <laughs> science. It's science for Raja. <laughs> I'm gonna put, oh. Just gonna put. Just gonna put. Can you see that? I yeah. need a moment. <laughs> Welcome, my co-host, anti-vaping congressman Raja Krishnamurthy. <laughs> <laughs> Vaping's bad. Vaping. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> We just can't have him. He's too much comedy. <laughs> He's too much comedy. See, we can't even have him like dancing down here. Oh no, you guys, I'm gonna get mascara all over my put, face. <laughs> it's okay. For comedy. <sighs> For the sake of comedy. <laughs> I don't know what is wrong with me today. <laughs> Something between us. <laughs> that was so random, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure uh, Danielle caught oh. giggles hard. Hard, you guys. Catching those hard. giggles. Oh, I need a tissue. I'm cracking myself up. <laughs> oh, I can't even read chat, you guys. Are you laughing? Uh, I like those breeze tones. Oh. oh, everything's blurry. Good thing I have waterproof mascara. Uh, okay, okay. Oh. <sighs> so... What is science? Who knows, Ashton? Who knows? Nowadays, who even knows what science is anymore? I'm just kidding. I know exactly what science is. This anti-vaping congressman insists there's simply no evidence that e-cigarettes help smokers quit by Jacob Sullum. 
In my syndicated column last week, I noted that politicians who favor new taxes and restrictions on nicotine vaping products tend to ignore the life-saving potential of this harm-reducing alternative to conventional cigarettes. One of those politicians, Representative Raja Krishnamurthy, responded with a letter to the Chicago Sun-Times that proves my point. Krishnamurthy exaggerates the threat posed by underage vaping, conflates vaping with tobacco use, and insists there's simply no evidence that e-cigarettes help smokers quit. Off to a strong start here, Jacob Sullum. Off to a strong, strong start. Krishnamurthy, who last year spuriously urged the Food and Drug Administration to ban all e-cigarettes as a COVID-19 hazard, thinks vapes are a huge threat to millions of America's young people. To back up that claim, he cites data from the National Youth Tobacco Survey, which show that vaping by high school students fell by 29% in 2020 after rising substantially the previous two years. Ignoring that drop, Krishnamurthy instead emphasizes that 20% of high schoolers are currently using this highly addictive product, meaning they reported vaping in the previous month. That figure is down from about 28% in 2019. Krishnamurthy also does not mention that cigarette smoking by teenagers, a far more dangerous habit, has been falling since the late 1990s, reaching record lows in recent years. In the 2020 National Youth Tobacco Survey, 4.6% of high school students reported smoking cigarettes in the previous month, down from 5.8% in 2019 and 15% in 2011, a 70% drop. Crazy. All of this just gets ignored by Raja Krishnamurthy. Yep. How do you explain a gateway? How do you justify a gateway if there if youth smoking just continues to go down? Well, and yeah, Magic. exactly. If you, there's like <laughs> youth smoking is so low right now, it's ridiculous. Like it's the do lowest we even talk it's about ever it? been. It's the lowest it's ever been ever. It's the lowest it's ever been. And some of these, like, we're still waiting for the newest National Youth Tobacco Survey data. I know we are. I know Daniel Jones is waiting just on edge Ugh. for this data. This is like my time of the year. I'm like, give me the youth numbers. And it's going to go back. It's going to go. It's going to be back down again, even more. I feel like there is a very good chance it's going to have dropped pretty significantly. Yes. Because especially this this year is the actual like covid representative you know uh what do they call it digital learning e-learning everybody's from home type you know situation yes yeah because last year's data was actually they had to prematurely end the surveys but they ended it before any lockdowns began so this was actually the drop that we saw last year was pre-covid numbers um so this year it will actually be like distance learning or whatever everyone is calling it right now so i would think without kids like socializing with each other and mm -hmm. you know doing because mm -hmm. that's you know you're at parties hey you want to hit this jewel yeah. like that's you know how a lot of this happens um without that i feel like the numbers are probably going to be what are you laughing at me again <laughs> you just did that you did that like greetings fellow youths you're like hey you want to hit this jewel yeah <laughs> it just was Sorry. like that was very like i don't know i don't want to say boomery but hey fellow uh, youths you want to hit jewel. this jewel pen it's a cannabis pen, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Don't even get me started on cannabis use. Anyway, I think we're going to see even lower numbers. That's what mm -hmm. I think. I could be wrong, obviously, because who knows? But I think the numbers are going to be even lower. I think the numbers are going to be even lower. I think the youth vaping numbers are going to be even lower. And even in the last National Youth Tobacco Survey, like the middle school vaping numbers were down to like under 1%. They've like never been point, high, if we're like being point real. Three like, percent. They're I don't even know why they include them. It's so silly. So low. They're so low. Continuing on with uh Jacob Sullum here. Let's go we're gonna pick up in the recent in the youth risk behavior survey. So we're talking about that 70% drop between 2011 and 2021 in cigarette smoking. In the Youth Risk Behavior Survey, that rate fell from 27.5% in 1991 to 6% in 2019, a 78% drop. Huh. 
According to the Monitoring the Future study, which is a CDC study as well, according to the Monitoring the Future study, which covers a longer period, the prevalence of past month cigarette smoking among high school seniors fell from 36.5% in 1997 to 7% in 2020, a drop of more than 80%. Yep. Between 1997... 80% drop in cigarette smoking between 1997 and 2020, but we're supposed to believe that somewhere in 2016 there was a gateway from vaping to smoking. You know what? Somebody in chat just said something. We should tweet it to whoever. There's simply no evidence that the gateway theory yes. exists. Yes. Oh, my gosh. There is simply no... Yes. Please do that. Someone do that. Uh, it was Ray... Ray... Beta Ray. Bettington Court in Ray. chat. It was his idea. I stole it from him. He says, simply no proof of gateway. You're Look, right, Ray. If someone does that, if someone tweets out the simply no proof of gateway, I'll, I'll retweet it. Do it. Do it. Someone someone do that. 80% drop. This mm -hmm. downward trend accelerated as vaping became more popular among teenagers, which suggests that e-cigarettes are replacing combustible tobacco products in this age group. This is ambiguously good news from a public health perspective since e-cigarettes are much less hazardous sources of nicotine. Another point that Krishnamurthy conspicuously ignores in his statement about vaping. He, Raja Krishnamurthy has transitioned his argument against vaping to all sorts of like, you know, he started off with uh, like the harms from vaping and then it was Evoli and then... You know, like he keeps jumping around and mm -hmm. it seems like he's finally ended on um, addiction, which is bad, and profiting. Big Tobacco's yeah. profiting and then there's some addiction going on. He doesn't yeah. talk about if they're less hazardous. He doesn't talk no. about if, you know, you're running out of uh, you're running out of legs to stand on, Raja Krishnamurthy. He is. He says uh, most high school students who vape, 61% 60, in 2020, are occasional users. An analysis of the New York, uh, New York, <laughs> National Youth Tobacco National. Survey. I see NY and I just think I know, New I York know. every single time. <clears throat> National Youth Tobacco Survey data from 2017 to 2019 found that frequent use on 20 or more of the previous 30 days was concentrated among current or former smokers, which is consistent with the hypothesis that teenagers are increasing increasingly are vaping rather than smoking frequent use and signs of e-cigarette dependence remain rare in students who had only ever used e-cigarettes and never any other tobacco product so even if you're initiating with a, a jewel at a party hey you want to hit my jewel you're not just going to suddenly turn into a you know a, a, a pod a day jeweler or a pack a day smoker even when you like even when you have a cigarette, you're not instantly addicted to it. No, you're not. You can have a cigarette. I've There's been times in my life in the past where I've gone to somewhere, bar or show or something, and had like three cigarettes and didn't buy a pack the next day or anything like right, that. Right, right. So well, that's how like, it's all drugs, right? There is literally no drug where you try it once and you're addicted. Right. Oh, yeah, I need this like, forever for the... Yeah, right, right. That's not how substance use or addiction if you will mm -hmm. works it's mm -hmm. not that it's way more complicated than that it's way more complicated to that um so this goes on to say vaping likely addicts some young people to nicotine david david jk balfour and 14 other leading tobacco researchers say in the american journal of public health article published last month However, the evidence does not suggest it is addicting in it is addicting very large numbers. Is this the 15 presidents for the Society of Research S what is that? SRN SRNT? Yes. ST SRNT. Yeah. What's Society for thing? Research on Nicotine and Tobacco. Society for Research on to Nicotine and Tobacco. SRNT. Right. And contrary to the fears frequently voiced by critics of vaping products, there is little evidence that vaping products are encouraging smoking among teenagers who would otherwise never would have tried nicotine. With high school students smoking declining at an increasing rate since youth began using e-cigarettes, some may vape to reduce or quit smoking, Bella Ford notes. If vaping causes some people... If vaping causes some young people to try cigarettes, the aggregate impact must be small. 
A recent study estimated that if vaping increases non-smoking youth's odds of trying cigarettes by 3.5%, smoking initiation among young adults would increase less than one percentage point. Did I read that right? Did I did I did I even understand that right? Are they saying that even at the worst possible odds, it wouldn't increase sub- cigarette smoking in any substantial way? I believe that that's what they're saying. I yes. think that's the gist of what they're saying. It's fancy math, but I think that's they're what saying they're saying that even in a worst case scenario, that it wouldn't impact youth smoking in any statistically relevant way. That's what it sounds like. I believe like they're that's. What they're I believe. Krishnamurthy glosses over these considerations by misleadingly equating vaping with tobacco use. This is my biggest thing, tobacco use. In September, in a September 2015 press release, he says federal excise taxes on vaping products can reduce tobacco use in America and prevent a generation of kids from getting hooked on smoking and vaping. Yet e-cigarettes do not contain tobacco and do not burn anything. Crucial differences that explain why Public Health England estimated that switching from smoking to vaping reduces health risks by at least 95%. That's what we've been... I mean, that's what... 95%. Is there a... Something we can tweet at Raja from this article? Here it is. Government... Recent government report? Oh, I already tweeted this at him. You did. Okay. That's okay. We already tweeted it at him. We need something else. I need a good link to tweet at him. We need to do at least like one more tweet before the end of this. <laughs> Jump on the Casal Library. How about at, the Cochrane Report? Oh, the Cochrane one. Oh, that's a good one. How about that one? That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so listen, we're getting down to the end of this. I'm not going to have time to read this whole thing. But in this article, really would encourage you to go and read this whole thing. He just lays on to Raja Krishnamurthy saying, he ignores this, he ignores this, he ignores this, he ignores all this, he ignores all this. All the science says this, the meta-analysis says this, the randomized controlled trials say this, FDA says this. He really, it's so funny to me that Jacob wrote this piece, Raja thought it was about him, responded on in a newspaper and then jacob was like this wasn't even about you but while i'm at it here this yeah. one is well i can turn my <laughs> attention over here if you really want yeah. this wasn't about you i didn't name you but i can name you oh, multiple yeah. multiple multiple times in I this hope article Raja regrets this i really hope he does i really hope he does honestly i want him to regret it and i want him to go okay maybe i'll look at the science now Maybe in order to keep Jacob Greer and Reason Magazine and uh, Vapors on Twitter off my back. Jacob Sullum. Jacob Sullum. Sorry, not Jacob Greer. Different person. Equally awesome. Different person. Yes. Different person. Lots of Jacobs. Lots of Jacobs. There's some Jacobs in there. It's a good name. I like it. It it is a really good name. Um, Yep. Krishnamurthy wants to end ends. Despite FDA saying that ENDS can substantially help uh, public health if smokers switch to them. So Krishnamurthy is essentially encouraging FDA to not follow science. I mean, that's what it seems like to me. It seems like he's asking FDA to disregard science and disregard any research and just listen to him because he says prioritizing moral panic over right. actually saving actual lives actual is, science and actual lives that's where raja wants to go yeah raja what is raja krishnamurthy's end goal does he just want cigarettes on the market i mean no of course not like, that's what he's going for that is what he's doing and he doesn't i don't think he realizes that's what he's doing but he thinks His, that he is saving the children well, there's simply no evidence that he's saving the children by doing it. There this. isn't. There is simply There's no, simply evidence. no evidence. And that someone his will save should children. tweet it to him. There's simply no evidence. And there is simply a lot of evidence that everything he's doing is just to protect tobacco cigarettes market share. De facto, yes. De facto. Absolutely. His actions are ensuring that the only source of nicotine is in combustible cigarettes. Correct. He knows he knows he's doing that. He knows about smoking, right? 
I I don't even he know what he actually knows because there's not. simply no evidence oh, that yeah, vaping simply, helps yes. people. Yes. So I mean, maybe there's yeah. simply no evidence for a lot of things for yeah. Raja. There's simply know. no way to know what Raja Krishnamurthy thinks. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if. I feel like Raja Krishnamurthy is the kind of guy that has to go over the mental gymnastics in his head like every single night. Like, okay, wait, let me just make sure. No, I'm right on this. I'm right yeah. on this. I'm not going to. No, 20% of high schoolers vape. Have tried vaping have, even have once tried, in the last uh, 30 uh, days. Yeah, or, yeah. You want to talk about like really vape like what we think of as vaping we're talking about five percent that's what we're really talking about yeah talking about low 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 percentages low percentages let's send it before we end this stream let's send another tweet to raja mm -hmm. science for raja do some tweeting do some retweeting oh legion mm -hmm. vapes so many tweets i know i'm loving it Dude, this is good. Thank you, Breeze Tones. Thank you, Legion Vapes. Thank you, Mallory. Thank you, Hunky. Mm -hmm. You guys rule. Get on Twitter. Thank you, Face Meat. Tribal Buddha. Shout out to Tribal Buddha. Alan E. Toll. Science for Raja. Mercy Rocks. Thank you. Science for Raja. Legion Vapes getting in there. David, Science for Raja. Barbara's in there. Woo! Hunky Barbara's Vapes. Barbara's in there. Hunky Vapes. David Vestal. Mallory definitely gets the trophy, though, it. for Frankie sure. Frankie Underwood. Yeah, Mallory's killing it today. Also, somebody in chat said that uh, Raja is her congressperson. So, mm, heck yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah, reach out. Definitely. And when you're tweeting at Raja, if you're in his district or if he's your congressperson, definitely let him know that. Be like, yeah, I'm your sure. constituent. I'm your constituent. I quit smoking with vaping. Here's mm -hmm. some science that shows that, you know, I'm more than an anecdote. Exactly. I don't, well, okay, let's tweet one more thing at Raja Krishnamurthy. And I need a good study. I need a good science. See, I like I this mean, one. We were going to do Cochrane, right? You're going to do Cochrane. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Cochrane. Cochrane. I got you, fam. You can get the link from the Casal Information Library if you need to. Actually, all I have to do is type C into Google, and it just auto fills just in CochraneLibrary.com. <laughs> it goes right to it electronic cigarettes for smoking cessation. You have searched it. It's so many one times. of those things. Yeah, it happens. So is it the Cochrane Library? Don't they describe themselves as like the gold standard of meta analysis? I believe that is what many people describe them as, yes. What about, can I write Ola, H O L A? Yeah. Ola, do Raja? It. Yeah. Ooh, it kind of rhymes. It kind of it kind of rhymes. Oh my God, I just noticed that Raja is peeking out from under my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't see him there. He is. Woo! Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's great. Okay, no, wait. I don't know why it's not letting me uh, compose a tweet right now. I feel like it's against me. What's tweet. it doing? Oh, there it is. Oh, that was weird. Mm. Uh, one exclamation point. Uh, how do I describe the Cochrane Library? Hmm. The Cochrane I mean, Tobacco Addiction Group. I mean, how did they, they describe themselves? They're like, the Cochrane Tobacco Addiction Library is the gold standard of meta analysis or something like that. I mean, this is one of those mic drop organizations that you like, it's hard to argue. You can't argue with the Cochrane Library. It's like, well, it's in the Cochrane Library. All right. I can't really argue about that. Said the gold yeah, standard. Yeah, look at about. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying to see the about here. Critical answers. What I should find here, let's copy, let's, conclusions. Mm -hmm. See, but my, I, see, while moderate certainty evidence to us and to scientists sound like a big deal, I wish they used bigger words for politicians. There we go. That's the, that's the, 
Oh, see, I did it backwards. I didn't do it your way. Gotta do it my way, man. Gotta do it the Daniel Jones way. Cochran. Okay. So we get the quote. We get the we get the study. Hola, Roger for Congress. The Cochran tag has a meta analysis. Nope. Here you go. How many studies does this contain now? I think it's 60 something. Make sure you're looking at the most updated one at I the top. You see that purple bar and is. it says most updated. The purple what? bar under the oh, title. Oh, this is not the most recent version. Oh, here's the current version. Oh, yeah, good click call. that one. Oh, good call, Danielle Jones. Fact checker. And then if you scroll down, it's in, I want to say it's like 67 or something. 61. There we 61 go. 61 completed studies. Because they update this like frequently. Yep. 61 studies. So I can say, where did it go? Uh... Uh, let's see if I can get it in here. Oh, almost running out. Almost running out. Okay, I feel like that's a pretty good tweet. Oh, I didn't get the hashtag in there. Okay, see, uh -oh. so I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of that hashtag. Oh, I'm not going to be able to fit it. Damn. Got any, got any ands that you can turn to ampersands? Uh, has a meta-analysis. Uh, nope. Still. Meta-analysis containing 61 studies with 61 studies. Can I change containing sure. to with? Yeah. With. Oh, I'm still over. Okay. Okay. Exclamation point. You can go. There it is. There it is. There it is. See, that's Twitter, baby. That's how that's you do the, it, you guys. You're Twitter just like, game. here's what I want to say. Now, how can I make it shorter? Now, how can I make it shorter? And how can I say everything I want to say without including every word I need to include? That's yep. the trick. That's yep. the trick to Twitter. Ampersands are your friends. Ampersands are your friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's mm -hmm. so many, so many little. It's meta analysis. Abbreviations. Abbreviation. Whoops. Even a space. Don't do it. Even a space counts as a character. Uh, this this little line break here counts as two. They te they ding Does you it two really? when you do that. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah. If you I want a line, line break, breaks. I love line breaks too, but I they take too many them. characters. Ugh. All right, go out into the world. Tweet. Do it. I wonder if any other advocates on Twitter are going to like get hip to this. Well, hopefully they're watching TBN. Well, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, oh, really? hopefully you guys are all watching TBN. No, I don't assume that anybody's going to watch no. TBN. You know. Oh, look at that, Barbara. Thank you. All right, guys. Wait. Tweeting at Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy like crazy because one last time he said, there's simply no science. Oh, yeah. Poke, poke his head. Rub his little Raja <laughs> Krishnamurthy head. <laughs> Read the tweets, Raja. Read, Read the, tweets. the tweets. Follow Click the, the science. Follow the science. That's like the biggest buzz phrase of the last two years. Follow the yeah. science. Follow science. COVID, follow science. Everybody, follow science. When How can you have Raja Krishnamurthy saying, follow the science in a tweet, and then a week later telling FDA not to follow the science and just to ban flavors because, because he, said, he so. said so, because there's simply no evidence. No, simply no evidence. Unbelievable. So that's where we're at. Let's mm -hmm. wrap this stream up. Thank you guys for uh, coming out. Appreciate you getting uh, educated, letting that truth butter flow, sending out some tweets to Raja Krishnamurthy. If I could uh, high five and hug each and every single one of you that was tweeting today, I definitely would. I'm going to keep this party going. I'm going to keep tweeting at Raja for at least the next, at least till Thursday, maybe for the next like 24, 48 hours, something like that. This replay is going to be up. If you're watching this replay, get on it. Science for Raja. There's, there's links down in the description. In fact, I have packed the, the YouTube description with so many links that YouTube said, no more. They literally gave me a big red box. It's Cut like, you off. It's full. Your description is too long, and it's just packed with links. There's links everywhere. Utilize CASA. 
utilize vaping, uh, you know, 360, utilize Twitter. I figured maybe this was a way we could make a little ripple today, maybe a little splash on Raja Krishnamurthy because I don't like not doing anything. Mm-hmm. I feel like I have to do something, and I feel like if we can get a bunch of people tweeting, then that's better than doing nothing, right? Agreed. It's better than doing nothing. So that's where we're going to wrap this up. I don't think there was any more Super Chats that came in. Glenn Ness, hola, mi amigo. Appreciate you, Glenn Ness. And uh, as far as everybody else in the chat goes, thank you. I love you guys like crazy. Thank you for being here. Thank you for defending vaping. Thank you for tweeting. Huge thank you to uh, we're over there, Raja Krishnamurthy. Without him, none of this would be possible. Little Raja there. I got to find him. Wait. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, the, I gotta, the, it's backwards. Tilt your Yeah. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord all right you guys well uh thank you so much for coming out i'm gonna i'm gonna end this stream right now but uh thank you we'll be back in two weeks yes i believe we'll be back in two weeks we'll be back in two weeks with like maybe like a, a half of a question mark there maybe like a half of a question mark there but we should be back in two weeks i'm determined to come back in two weeks even though i'm flying home from nve on monday Right, right, In two right, right. weeks, I'll be flying home, but that's okay. We can still knock out a TBN on that Tuesday. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. I bet we could do it. I think we can. We will have a TBN in two weeks, <laughs> damn it. And we'll it have decided. Any, anything that goes on, obviously, with the tax, with Raja, with FDA, we're going to let you know as soon as we possibly can. In the meantime, keep tweeting at Raja. Keep using the hashtag science for Raja. And keep doing that CASA call to action to fight this yes. ridiculous vapor tax. There's not a lot we can do with FDA right now, but there's a lot we can do with this vapor tax, and there's a lot we can do tweeting at Raja. So once again, thank you guys. I do not have an outro for TBN, so we're just going to wave like it's a float, like it's a parade, and we're going to say bye. 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 Don't forget to tweet. Bye. Keep waving.